create this data dictionary in less than 10 minutes. And it's very, very simple to do. So stay tuned. We're going to walk through how to do this, including how to use a form to add new information into your data library. So stay tuned. We're going to jump right to it. So this isn't going to take much time. The first thing you need to do is establish what your data library fields are going to look like. And you can see I put in just four basic fields. You can, this is more of a data catalog, not a library, but you can put in whatever you want. This is very basic. What the data asset is, what the type is, where the location is, and where, what some, what are some data tags. And notice here that these are all just text fields, single, what they call single text fields that are 255 characters. Okay, very simple, very easy. That's step one, just create these columns to add a column. Of course, you just click on this on this right here and you just say add a text right here and hit next. And then you just answer a question and it automatically adds a column for you. So that's pretty simple. The second thing you want to do is click on forms. And although I already have one here, you would just click on add a new form. And so you just click on the add new form. You can give it a logo and a title if you want. You can deselect fields if you want, and then you can add information into those fields if you like. I'm going to show you one that's complete, but as you can see, it's pretty simple. You can add a logo to it. You can describe it, give it a name, all those kind of things. So I'm going to go ahead and hit cancel there because I'm going to show you what my form looks like. Now, to access the form, you can just click on forms and then notice here it just put that one. So I'm going to, you can also delete them or you could duplicate them. Here we're going to delete and then here we're going to delete as well. Hopefully we're not deleting the one I want. There you go. And this is the form that I have right here. So you can see here we're in kind of an edit mode. But I wanted to show you here the fields. Now, I added information to the end. You can just click on there and add. You can also put a description. Notice it tells you where the column is and the type of data you're collecting. I made this one required. Um, and then and then that's and you can add more information if you like. That's pretty simple right there. OK, and then you can go ahead and run the form as well. So you can click on here and you could say bada bink. OK, stop accepting or you can click on um, here and uh, send the form. And I'm just going to copy the link at this point. So you just click on copy link right here, copies, and then just create a new browser uh, tab there and click on it right there. And now the form will come up in all of its glory. And again, you can modify all of these things. Notice this is a required field and you just basically enter in the information and you're good to go. Now, how did I capture this? Well, all I did was I created, I laid this in just like this, and then I just create, click on there, edit bookmark, or I added the bookmark, and then now it just appears here under my bookmarks right here. That is as simple as it is. It doesn't take much to do, but now you're off to the races. You can look at your data library and you can begin to get assets from there now granted it's not going to give you everything but it's a good start so let's say for example i wanted to find something inside my data dictionary i can just click on there just i'm clicking on this gray spot right here or i can hit filter if i want to do things right and then that takes a little while to load up okay but so you can filter it out things like that okay but what i want to do is just click there once and hit Hold down the control key and hit F. Notice here it pops up right here, and I'm just going to type in what, let's just say SO. And then it's going to just tell me where the SO stations are, for example. Okay. Um, maybe I'm looking for a brief. Okay. So pretty easy to do. You can just find the information, know where the resource is, and then you can't click from here to go to the resource. You could if you put these in as URLs. I didn't. Um, and then you just kind of go over there. So I just, at that point, I'll just copy this and then go to where the link is. That's about as simple as it is. Good luck.